Like a tailbone, who you got the tail on? If it ain't about me, about hold the about face. If you ain't no higher, learn it. The soda in the pot and the fire. Burn it. Gundress is a co joint anime OVA film that has been directed by Akira Amasawa and has been produced by Nakatsu and Sanctuary Studios. In 2100, a former policewoman by the name of Masako Katsuki forms an alliance to protect Japan from terrorists. As a kid growing up, I have came across a lot of animes, especially when I was in the age of 12 and 13 years old. There was a channel that I always used to watch my animes from, especially on a Friday and a Saturday night, which is action and stars. If you're my age and you watch animes, you've been following, following animes for a very long while, you can agree with me that those channels was rocking. I have came across a lot of good ones, a lot of hidden gems, and a lot of animes that people today don't even talk about. And I reviewed a lot of them on my channel, which was one of my favorite ones that I've watched as a kid, Black Magic M66, that I reviewed recently. But Gundress, I've never heard about this anime. They said that it was on these channels, but I've never seen it. I've never came across this anime. And it hit me because I was like, you know what? This was on here and I haven't seen it. So why don't I just pick it up and check it out for myself? And I have. <laughs> and before I watched it, I had to look at some feedback about it. I had to look at some critics' um, opinions about this anime. And shockingly, I've stumbled across a lot of critics that did not like this anime at all. Like, they have gave this anime a lot of shit, a lot of negative criticism, a lot of bad feedback. And normally, when I hear critics talk shit about something like this, and I'm a fan of it, I like to play devil's advocate and I like to prove them wrong by them overshooting certain things. Because when it comes to critics, I noticed that they like to follow the train of what people are talking about and they want to add their own details to it, but show their own narrative of why they like it like everybody else or why they don't like it like everybody else. I like to be the opposite, especially when I think that an anime or a movie or a game is not giving the praise that it deserves or if it's getting too much hate that it needed. Let's just say... I have watched Gundress and all that hate that this anime is getting, it deserves it. <laughs> it, it. It deserves it a lot. When an anime starts, we get pulled in by this defense team called Angel Arms that begins to do a very, very intense and dangerous mission. And I thought that was great. I thought this was a very good way for us to not just be intertwined with the action and for them to show us how action-packed this anime is, but for also for us to be familiar with the character development and how the dialogue was going to be with these characters. I thought that was well done. I thought that was well-paced. And I wanted more of these characters. I wanted more of the dialogue because the way how they was teaming up and the way how they was trusting each other and giving some type of jokes and how they was executing certain takedowns, certain takedowns with these enemies, I was pulled out. I was pulled in by the way how they was handling things as a team. And I was really hoping that we was going to know more about these characters and how they ended up becoming a member of Angel Arms and just what was their main strengths, what was their main weaknesses, what was their motivations, and just overall just what was a backstory and what made what would make us like them in the first place but sadly enough this is what the anime falls flat by them literally giving us that much and then just shoving it under the rug we get introduced with elisa's character and i'm gonna have to say out of everything I reviewed, this has to be one of the worst character development cycles I have ever came across in the history of my reviews because Elisa's character is not bad. I'm going to just be right on the mark. She's a not bad character, but the anime starts off by us knowing very too little about her character, but she has so much to prove for herself. Like, for example, she is 
not the main leader of Angel Arms, but she stands out. I mean, she's in the front of the damn cover of the box, so the anime really does reflect on her. But at the same time, the things that she goes through and the things that she come across and how she handles things and at the same time how she produces herself through the story, we do not know enough to understand why she's making these choices, especially when they begin to show us little fragments of her past before she became a member of Angel Arms. They want these flashbacks to be enough for us to know the motivations of this character, for us to know the drive of this character, for us to feel this character whenever things go bad or whenever she goes through a life or death situation and it did not earn it here. I felt like Elisa's character had a lot of potential, had a lot of motivation. In hell, I was beginning to like her character a lot, but it did not earn it here by the lack of pacing and the lack of character development that was given to us. Same thing with the side characters. Name every side character on a story that you may have liked a lot, did not like, stood out, or at the same time was just a character that, that just did some memorable shit. You can't, because all these characters was lacking character development and lacking innovation. Everything that we have seen in the beginning of the anime with the innovation and the character development is completely gone in this hour and 20 minute anime. What the hell was they doing all this time? And out of all the OVAs that I've seen, this is the longest anime that I've seen that is lacking this type of character development. What the hell is this? And to make matters worse, Masami Shiro made this anime. The same person who did Psycho Diver, one of my favorite animes of all time. I pray to towards this day. But let's got to throw shit on, this, on that anime too. And that's the reason why I didn't give Psycho Diver the highest rating. Because it was lacking that same type of problem. You would think that Masame would at least fix his problem. Especially since Psycho Diver was 40 minutes long. And this was an hour and 20 minutes. You had a lot of time there. Fix the situation. Talking about Elisa's character, the story main focus is her history and then coming back to her and trying to show us both sides of the coin, I guess. Her being in Angel Arms and her bad history coming back and trying to make her choose which side to choose from, her friends in Angel Arms or the past, which is her boyfriend that seemingly is a terrorist but before that i'm just going by the flashbacks that they showed us but apparently they was in love with each other and some shit went down and she thought he was dead and then two years later he is back and he is even more vicious and he's in deep love with her still but at the same time she is in this triangular situation where she's trying to decide should i go back to my boyfriend or should i stay in angel arms and try to convince this man that this is not the right way to go this is the part where the anime is supposed to make us get synced in to her, her, her decision and it gets synced in by the characters that helps her with, with this journey, which is the members of Angel Arms. This is the reason why this anime is getting a lot of shit too, because right when they want to give us that same gravitation, we let go of the rope because you have not given us enough to even care which side she chooses, good or bad, her boyfriend or her friends, Angel Arms or the terrorists. We do not know enough for her to care if things go bad. Hell, we didn't even care enough if she even lived or died or even as the side character's motivations too. Toxic love story shows in animes and games like this has the same type of motivation. But unlike those, <sighs> Gundress is one of these main animes that I was really expecting a big, big payoff, especially on the ending. And don't get me wrong, the ending was action-packed. The ending did have some casualties and the ending will pull you in to the point where you may think somebody might get killed off. But again, you don't feel no sorrow. You don't feel no type of weight to your heart as you begin to feel like you're about to lose somebody that you really did like in this one hour and 20 minute journey. You just feel as if you're watching the news and it does feel bad to see somebody die, but at the same time, you don't know that person. So you just begin to forget about it. And that's one of my main problems with this anime is that I was bored watching it because of the lack of the character development and animation. I wanted this anime to be over, and I have not gotten bored watching the anime like this in a very long time. I think the last anime that I seen that made me bored watching it was Najima, and I took that anime back. At the end of the day, 
this anime, it's, I guess you can call it an acceptable anime when it comes to people just want to watch something quick, but it's not acceptable with all the aspects that I mentioned. Bad story, bad character development, bad innovation, very, 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 very lazy pacing out of everything else. And that's what's the unforgivable, unforgivable part about this anime. I don't really have anything else to say about it. I'm going to have to give Gundress a D minus. If it wasn't for that beginning part of the anime, this anime would have really, really made my day. But at the same time, <clears throat> I was gravely disappointed. When I seen Masame Shiro's name on this box, I just, just had that same mind as Cycle Diver. I love this anime so much, and I really thought that Gun just would really pull me in that much, but it broke my heart. It really did. <sighs> Y'all have a good day.